I want to just, I guess, begin. I know it's cold out here and we've been, you know, uh, trying to brave the weather. I want to thank the organizer of this event. We've got a few calls to the party line and emails about it, and we supported it 100%. And I know there's many different issues and uh, 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 things that, quite frankly, this government is bombing on. Um, but I say this government, but this has been going on for decades, folks. Uh, you know, this year alone, we're spending out uh, $303 million more than we're taking in. We're being taxed to death. Our seniors are living off, what was it, $2 and something a meal? I mean, how pathetic is this getting? Our casual workers at DTI are being laid off. They can't support their families. This gentleman that just spoke, uh, a pipe fitter there, I mean, he nailed it. We give out corporate welfare, and it doesn't work. We're at 9.9% unemployment rate in New Brunswick. We keep, the governments keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, hoping that something will solve the problem. But the problem is duality, the problem is segregated buses, the problem is corporate welfare, the problem is, is offices like Catherine Dautremont's, which is causing division and strife and tension in the province. There's all kinds of problems, if they wanted to deal with it, could get the province back on track. <laughs> So long as we continue to tiptoe around the big budget issues, we will continue to have a massive debt, a deficit that, that they just seem to, to, to completely ignore and not want to tackle. And I can tell you, I was so glad to see that segregation bus pull up here today, Travis Murphy driving it. Because you know what? That is exactly where we're at as a province. Dialogue NB wrote this very big article. Did you see the article? Yeah. How we shouldn't be calling it segregation. Now I can tell you something folks, the people of this province are sick and tired of the politically correct watered down nonsense that they promote through government agencies. It is segregation by all definitions and it has to stop, period. So I just want to say a few things folks is uh, look, activism is critical to, to, to creating change. What John is doing and Trudy and all of you guys, uh, you know, with these organizations building it up, activism is critical because it gets the message out. But I'm going to tell you something. Unless a party and people and MLAs are elected in there that will change legislation, we will continue down this road. And I can tell you something. One thing there will not be a referendum on is duality because we will just end it. Period. It's done. We're pushing hard for common sense. We're pushing hard to create a business atmosphere in New Brunswick to deregulate business, eliminate the small business tax altogether, and start scaling back the corporate welfare and ending that as well. And, uh, and creating some jobs and employment and some uh, entrepreneurial spirit back in New Brunswick. Our best resources is our people, and our people's going out west because the government is screwing us over in, in, in New Brunswick. So we're gonna change that. Keep up the good fight, John. Thank you so much. And for the organizers, keep fighting. This battle is going to be won. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you, everyone. Can you repeat that, a Francais? Je n'ai pas de bas français. This is not good. We're going to keep.